What's going on, Skid? First video of 2018. Feels good to be back in the saddle. I got a GE dryer here. The resident said that it's not staying on after he hits the button. Alright, so after you hit the start button, it shuts off when you let go. Bet we're going to have belt issues. We shall see. Let's see if the drum is spinning. No, the drum's not spinning. Definitely going to be some belt issues. These GE dryers have these switches and the, the pulley wheel connects that switch. So if the belt breaks, it breaks connection and shuts the dryer off. So if your drum is spinning, and everything checks out and you're like what is going on check this switch it's down to the left under the drum I'll show you where it is when I take it apart and how to test it is you put you know one meter lead on here and one meter lead on this side and push it in if it beeps it's good if it doesn't beep this is bad and you'll need to replace it and that to get the dryer going going again it does the same symptoms if this is bad when you push the start button in and then let go it will shut off. It's the exact same symptoms but in this case it looks like it's going to be a belt issue because my drum is not spinning. These GE dryers are really easy to take apart. Let's take that screw out there and that screw out here. My power is off by the way. I unplugged it. Top off. All right, after I remove the top, I see there's no belt here. That's where the belt should be. So we got a pop belt skid. All right, to get the front off, take that out and take that out. Alright, you just lift up and move the front to the side. Get in there, door. There's the old busted belt right there. Just give the give the drum a pull, it'll come on out. Heck yeah, Skid, pure profit. Pure profit. All right. All right, this is that switch I was talking about earlier. Right there. You can hear it click. That's what the wheel does. So when the, when the belt pops, boom, it just shuts it down. So, you know, if everything looks good, your drum is turning, your start switch is good, Replace this switch here. Test it with uh, your meter first. Make sure you have continuity. Push it over, and then if it beeps, it's good. You gotta keep searching, but if it doesn't beep, replace it. Then that'll get you going. It's the exact same symptoms. Hit the start button, then let go, it shuts down. We'll put our new belt on. You don't have to do it in any fancy way, just loop it around. That's all there is to it. And then to put the drum back in, just want to make sure that gets in the hole there. And that is all there is to it. It can be a fighter, but just keep fighting and be patient and it'll slide right on in. There's no nice way of doing it, just put it in there. Here we go, we're in. 
All right, I'm going to try to fit my camera in there and put you in the belly of the beast. This is the tricky part, putting the wheel and the uh, and the belt over the motor and all that stuff. It's kind of, you know, you're blind. It's a poke and hope deal. All right, I'm going to do my best to see if I can film how to do this back here. can't see anything so just going in by feel I pull the wheel down first pull it all the way down as far as you can and then loop the belt around the the motor shaft and then let the wheel go and that's it oh, let's see if I can get my arm out of here without slicing it Turn, yep, motor's turning, everything's good. Okay, the new belt's on. Just make sure it's over the old mark. Give it a turn, make sure my fan's going. Yep. All right, we'll put the front back on. Try it out. Top back on can be tricky. There we go. Put my screws back in. Maybe yes, it's whistling. Sure it stays on. All right. All right, looks like we're good to go. Uh, again, if your drum is spinning and your start switch checks out, it's going to be the switch in there, man. You still got to take it apart to get to it. Just uh, close it, close the switch, test it for continuity on both of the, the terminals. And if it beeps, it's good. If it doesn't beep, it's not good. All right, I'm trying to get some skid shirts too, guys. That's, that's my new uh, goal for 2018. Some people are wanting some uh, what's going on skid shirts. I'm just trying to figure out an easy way for you guys to, to pay online without having to send cash through the mail. All right, thank you for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show.